And the second poem I'm going to read goes back to my um, growing up years in Tobago, <laughs> which is where I write from. It's my love. It's called Cashew. <laughs> and uh, cashews are really, have, have any of you seen the cashew fruit ever? It hangs from the tree. It's very succulent, almost erotic looking fruit. <laughs> and um, anyway, cashew. <coughs> Firm fleshed, red pendulous breast, nipple hardened into promise in seed, curled green fetus, the cashew hangs, longs for the sharp white teeth of girls, their perfect tiny tongues, licking its juice that stains the white gowns, marks them with desire, as racing nightdress sails, masted with slender, sinewy, mahogany of limbs, lengthening into a future, perfect, they hurtle toward the unfurl in girl. Yeah, the cashew, it's, it has the seed at the bottom. It's really quite a... And uh, one of the things I grew up with, we all love cashew nuts, or many of us, those of us who can eat them. And if you roast the nuts when, they're, when there's poultry around, it actually kills the poultry. Um, <laughs> so it's an interesting fruit. <laughs> now this one, I, it's very recent. It's really a poem in progress. Uh, it's based on, you know, those obsessive forms, the Villanelle and the Pantoum. It's called Back to Quebec. And it came about, it comes out of the G20 demonstrations, uh, which I attended with Paul, my partner, my son, a friend. And um, I, have a, I have an article on rabble.ca if you want to see how I feel about it. Um, I went to the, to the demonstrations because first I went down to see the wall that they built and um, I, I felt myself getting more and more afraid in the days leading up to the demonstration because um, Chief Blair would be on the CBC talking about stay away and you know there are going to be problems and I just felt that I couldn't live with the fact that I was afraid in my own city and so I decided that I wanted to go and I wanted to join the, the group of women who've been very activist around the cutting aid to mothers overseas and all those issues around abortion and so on. So we went and it was a typical, you know, demonstration, shouting slogans and although it was quite disturbing, um, I really understood the meaning of the word awesome <laughs> for the first time when I saw the police forces massed on University Avenue. I have never in my life seen that display of force. And it really is a sea change, I think, for Toronto and for Canada. Um, anyway, I'm not going to get into all the details, but um, the, the Toronto Star, in the aftermath of all the arrests and so on, had one of the um, articles, you had a photograph of the, some of the people who were arrested, and then there were um, just a little blurb about, there would be a little blurb about what had happened to them, to the person, and then they would have a direct quotation from, from this person. And as I read it, there was a, a poetry in it. I sort of found poetry in what, what they were saying. So what I did was I just culled what each of those, there were five or six of them, what each of those either detainees or ex-detainees, because most of them had the charges dropped, had to say. Um, so everything you hear is what someone said who had been arrested um, for some reason. It's called Back to Quebec. And this morning, I wish, you know, I said to, um, what's his name, uh, who just performed? Oh, oh. Who performed? CR. CR. I wanted to do this with him, you know? <laughs> But I was too shy. You'll see why. You'll see why. 
It's called Back to Quebec. I'm going back to Quebec. I'll never leave that province again. Do you remember how old, I don't know if you followed the articles, but it was like those people from Quebec have come to Toronto and caused the trouble. That, that, was, that was very much the tone of what, of what, what they were saying. Um, anyway, so I'll start again, back to Quebec. I'm going back to Quebec. I'll never leave that province again. A better world, it's in the past, but I will not. I'll never leave that province again. Forget what they have done to me and to others. I'm going back to Quebec for nothing. I'll never leave that province again. Sitting in front of a bank, talking, wanting to go home. I'm going back to Quebec. Two big cars, police came out of them. I'll never leave that province again. I am not going back in there. I am going back to Quebec. If I was alone, I don't think I would have. I'll never leave that province again got arrested, people were exhausted, no one had the energy to scream, I'm going back to Quebec. I was not involved in the protest, I was standing on the sidewalk, I've been to a lot of these things, I'll never leave that province again. I'm wearing a mask, I'm going back to Quebec, good to see you. It's a bogus charge, I'll never leave that province again. I'm vegan, until three hours ago, I haven't had anything to eat. I'll never leave that province again. I'm going back to Quebec.